What's up, y'all? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with the newest Armani foundation, the Armani Power Fabric Foundation. And if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Armani foundations. I feel like they just really kill it in that area, and I just really love the brand. My girl Mel, you guys know her here on YouTube as Puffin's Wife. She now works at Nordstrom. She called me. She was like, hey, I have the foundation in my store. I went down, immediately bought the foundation. I have it in two shades. If you guys want to buy anything from Nordstrom, Anything that Nordstrom sells, you can buy it through her. I will direct you to her channel. I'll have all her information down in the bottom bar, but go to her channel and she'll walk you through how to purchase things from her if you're interested. But I got this foundation and I am so excited to be doing this review for you guys. I have it on right now. I have on two different colors. So like on this side, I have on nine and on this side, I have on eight and nine and we'll get into that in a second. On the box, it says that this is power fabric, long wear high cover foundation and it does have a sunscreen of SPF 25 so let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown on this foundation here's the foundation in all its glory so this is the actual packaging so here is the color 8 and here is the color 9 it's really hard to differentiate which shade is which because they look so similar the bottle is frosted and the top is that glossy black so you can't really tell too much of a difference in the color I think you could tell more in the camera than I can in real life this foundation retails for $64 if you're anything like me you like numbers that end with five and zero this one is sixty four dollars don't ask me why there is 1.01 fluid ounces of products pretty standard for all foundations in our market today and there are a whopping 20 different colors that our money released in this foundation formula which is really really good so the two that I got are eight and nine so let's see eight is described as a tan and it is described as a warm shade that is this one and then nine is described as a tan shade and rosy so what I found really interesting is that there was not an 8.5 as you'll see in the demonstration I mixed on one side which is this side and I just used nine on this side and honestly looking at that I don't really feel like I need both of these foundations definitely eight by itself is too light for me and nine by itself is borderline working I feel like nine has a little bit of a grayish undertone to it I think that that's the rosy combating with my natural golden skin tone so I find that really interesting let me go ahead and read you off what the description of this foundation is on Armani's website power fabric is a new liquid foundation that teams full coverage with a matte lightweight second skin finish power fabric is a concentration of oils with no greasy effect which delivers a velvet matte finish to achieve perfect full coverage powerful pigments were selected and then shaped to obtain extremely fine pigment particles with a quality of color beyond re Approach. so I do feel like it is very lightweight on my skin I can't feel it at all it is a fuller coverage foundation you can definitely start it off at medium and build it up but if you apply too many pumps you're going to get full coverage as you guys will see in the demo in a second I was able to get full coverage with just one pump of foundation on this side of my face it's also an added benefit that it has SPF in there so I don't know if a lot of you guys like to add SPF as well with your foundation Foundation. On Armani's website, they have this really nice chart where it compares their other foundations. In comparison to their other foundations they offer, their Maestro Glow is sheer coverage their maestro is again sheer coverage luminous silk is described as light to medium coverage and then their luminous silk compact is light to medium coverage the designer lift is medium coverage and then the power fabric is now medium to full coverage like i stated this also claims to have a 16 hour wear time where i can definitely see where that would be achievable because it does dry down matte but you can't feel it on your skin so it's not very drying so i feel like a variety of skin types will like this foundation so as of right now this is Armani's only medium to full coverage foundation so in comparison to their oh so popular luminous silk foundation honestly I feel like these foundations are polar opposites I don't know if you guys have ever tried it but luminous silk is almost like a serum foundation it is very lightweight 
I actually have my luminous silk here right now I'm able to just wear the color 8 by itself in the luminous silk foundation and in the power fabric foundation the 8 is entirely too light for me so the colors to me are probably going to be a little bit off and in the luminous silk foundation I wear a 9 in the summertime right now I have on a 9 in the power fabric foundation by itself on this side and I feel like it is borderline too light almost like I kind of want to check out 10 in this formula but in comparison I still am going to go with my luminous silk I feel like I like that one better but this foundation is nice and it does give you more coverage but it's going to give you a different finish so I do agree with a lot of the claims that they make I do think that this foundation is lightweight it is a natural matte it doesn't look like an old school matte foundation where it's just like just matte there's still an air of luminosity to my skin and it does feel very breathable I do like the amount of coverage it's a nice nice fuller coverage foundation. I am going to go ahead and jump into the demonstration. You guys can see what it looks like from me going to 0 to 100 and I do have everything listed below that's on my face right now so I didn't do a full on tutorial and I also have where you can pick up this foundation down in the description box as well and I hope that you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you guys very soon. I don't have anything on my face with the exception of the obvious makeup but my skin is bare so I am going to put on a little bit of this Bobbi Brown vitamin skin base this one is eight there is nine I'm going to apply nine on this side and see what I think this is my Artiste oval seven brush I think nine is probably gonna be it. It's smooth. Ooh, one pump pretty much covered up my entire face. Looks like velvet. Very, very smooth foundation. I kind of want to see what 8 looks like on the other side. I don't know if 8 is going to be too light. Yeah. 8 is too light, so I'm going to mix a little bit more of 9 in there. So here is 9 by itself. I like this one best. And then here is 8 and 9 mixed. I think eight added too much of a light element and it looks a little bit too light in my opinion. But it's definitely workable. I can make it work, but I don't necessarily feel like it's needed. But here it is by itself with nothing else on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay, so I hope this video helped anybody who is interested in this foundation. Let me know down in the comment section if you're going to be picking it up. Armani has a really great shade range, so it should be a shade for almost everybody out there. So tell me if you've tried it, what you think about it down in the comment section as well. Right now, this foundation is available on a lot of different online retailers. Let me know if you guys spot this out at your local Sephora's, Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, Saks, wherever you buy your higher end makeup. Let me know if you guys end up seeing it. I am really eager to see what the display is going to look like. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll will keep them coming make sure you tell a friend about my channel hi to all my new subscribers i thank each and every one of you guys i am ecstatic about growing this channel and i'm interested to see what 2017 holds for me so if you have any more ideas for what you want me to review next please leave it down in the comment section and i will talk to you guys in my very next video smooches bye